Welcome, my foolish meeples, to another board game video. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife and we'd like to welcome you to Teradice. And today we have 10 frightful games for your Halloween October season. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We have done an updated 2023, the games you should be playing this October. Halloween and October is our favorite time of year and it's also our favorite time of year to play board games because there are absolutely so <laughs> many to choose from and so many I can't wait to get playing. So let's get started this list from number 10 all the way up to number one. All right, so coming in at number 10 is an absolute classic that you should definitely be playing again this October, and that is One Night Ultimate Werewolf. Ow! <laughs> and that we are also <laughs> lumping into this category also is going to be Werewords. That's your favorite of the two. That is mm -hmm. my favorite of the two. But in both of these games, you are trying to figure out who the werewolves are. And this is kind of like, One Night is like, if you've ever played Mafia, it's like, like that. Heads up. <laughs> yeah, and it has an awesome uh, audio guide that can go along with it that guides you through it. Both oh, these the games, mobile app is a must. You definitely, definitely can use Both it. these games are absolutely wonderful party games that you can play with a big group of people. Waywards, you are trying to guess a certain word and get, and the werewolves are trying to not let you guess that word. And so these are just super fun that you're gonna have a lot of fun with. Next up on our list is Unmatched. Now, not all of Unmatched, but there are quite a few characters in this two-player brawling dueling game that are quite Quite spooky. That's characters like Dracula and the Invisible Man and Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. She's so <laughs> stinking scary. She's scary. Uh, but let me tell you, if you play a game of Dracula versus Bloody Mary, that is quite the Halloween night. You played on the Cobble versus Fog map, you'll have a great time. So mm -hmm. I think this is just a, a wonderful two-player game that gets you in the mood for the holiday spirit. I played as Dracula the other day and it was a whole ton of fun. Next on the list is Exit the Game, specifically yeah. Abandoned Cabin and Haunted Roller Coaster. Now, Exit the Game, we've talked about it on our channel before, but it's basically an escape room in a box. And these are a one-time game where you get a group of people together and there's going to be puzzles and clues and different fun things that's gonna guide you through the game that you're going to be escaping. And Abandoned Cabin and Haunted Roller Coaster are gonna give you that spooky feel. This is all also one of those games that if you have people over for a fun um, Halloween night and maybe you're gonna watch some like Halloween movies afterwards, I think it'd be great to start with an exit game to get you in the mood and it just work your way through those. I love the puzzles. In oh this yeah, game. they're great. Don't be afraid to use those scissors. Next up on our list for those grim grinning ghosts out there is Haunted Mansion. Now, this is a cool, cute little set collection game that's very plays very much like Sushi Go or Sushi Go Party in terms of your various different scoring mechanisms that you're trying to get. Uh, but basically you have this like rotating hallway in the middle uh, that's gonna change where your character is and what actions that are available to take. Also has this like dueling mechanic in it where you can steal cards and things like that. It's kind of cool. Yeah, and it, like it has all the classic artwork that you see in the beginning of the ride with like the people being eaten by the alligator and slowly moving up in the hallway. It is a very cute game that will get you into the Halloween spirit. Next up is a classic that I'm sure is on most people's list so of course we had to include it on our list again because also because we enjoy it yeah, well fun. that's what i was yeah. about to say because i'm like we always <laughs> play this this october and that is portrayal at house on the hill and now this is a game where these classic kids and or scientists or whatever they're all go into this haunted house and creepy As things start happening and then at some <laughs> point during the night um someone is going to portray everyone else and then they are playing separately from that uh, from the rest of the people and they are trying to win and so a but it, there's so many different scenarios and stories that you can play with Betrayal that you always get to mix it up. Some of the stories I think are better than others. So you kind of have to pick and choose and mm -hmm. like scythe through those. But I always enjoy this game and I think it is so fun. Um, and it's I, I never fail to play it. In, during October. Next up on our list is Jekyll versus Hyde. Now this is a two-player trick-taking card game. Again, I love these old classic stories like Dracula, Jekyll, you know, Jekyll and Hyde. You're reading Dracula right now. I am. Yeah. I'm more than halfway through. I'm really enjoying it. So the way this game plays is that Dr. Jekyll wants unity, wants to be sane in his mind. So he wants to win an even number of tricks that Mr. Hyde wins. So that's five and five. Uh, now on the other side, 
Mr. Hyde wants chaos, wants to either lose all the tricks or win all the tricks. And the difference in the number of tricks you win is how far into madness Dr. Jekyll descends. And so it's played over three rounds, and if you can get to the end of that track, by the end of that third round, he wins. Yeah. Uh, now the cool thing that they added is that uh, there are these potions that he can take. And the potion cards are numbered cards um, that when played, the winner of that trick is going to get some bonus from that potion. Mm -hmm. uh, so not necessarily the player who played the potion, and that can be a good thing for you. Yeah. So it's a really cool little trick-taking game. I love it. Next on the list is not Boop, but it is the Halloween version, and that is Boop. <laughs> In this game, you are going to be spooktacular kittens and cats jumping on Quite a spooky. bed. <laughs> and you're going to be trying to get three cats in a row. That is the main goal. And you're going to, every time you bump on the bed, you're going to bump the cats next to you in the boop opposite the direction. Yeah, <laughs> boop the cats next to you. You're going to start it as kittens and then graduate up to cats. And the, what has changed in this game is that now there are cat ghosts, which are going to boo their way along the stitch line. And they will be bumping at cats off as they pass by them and scare them off the bed. Uh, I never played Boop before and I absolutely adore Boop. Um, <laughs> it was a lot crunchier and I that I initially gave it credit for and I, I adore it. And I think the Halloween theme, while it's niche, I think if you don't own Boop but you like Halloween theme and you've been on the fence, then I would go ahead and go for Boop. Oh, definitely. This is a huge <laughs> contender for one of our, my favorite abstract games we played this very, year. Very, very good. Yeah. Next up on our list is Arkham Horror, the card game. Uh, so I am a huge fan of this game. People who have been following us for a while know that this is true. They also know Mackenzie is not a huge fan this of game this game. This game gives me nightmares, which is why I allow it on this list because <laughs> it's a Halloween video. <laughs> yeah, so this is a card game uh, where basically you play as investigators, weird stuff happens, and you go on these like stories. Now what I think is really cool about this game is you have physical locations, you have monsters chasing you, you have all these different things you're trying to grab, doors you're opening, and it's all done with cards. So it's a stack of cards when you start, and then it becomes this whole huge adventure. Uh, and I just love that about it. Uh, it has a pricey pricing structure in that you have to basically like buy various different story packs to be able to play the game, but they've dialed it back in recent years by creating these new investigator and scenario packs that are much cheaper than the old, old model. So even more than the last time I talked about this, highly recommend this game. It's a whole lot of fun. Yeah, and I think getting the opening box mission is going to be where you're going to see like a lot of spooky Halloween stuff going. But for those who want to tame it back a little, we just got what was it at the casino or what was that one called yeah the uh, oh the murder at the excelsior hotel That's yes the one that yes you're so about. if you want to dial it back mm -hmm. we are going to be trying that one this october as well there, I committed to it on camera, and so I, I'm going to play it with you. Thank you. <laughs> As should all of you. Coming in at number two is Villainous. And not just any Villainous, this is the brand new expansion filled with fright. Uh, uh, uh. Oogie Boogie <laughs> is finally entering the Villainous universe. And we have a whole review of this game coming out this Friday by... I, here's a little sneak peek because I am so excited about this Check out game these dice. and these <laughs> amazing looking dice. In our number one slot is Horrified, which is an absolute favorite of ours. It's a fan favorite. We know this is one that y'all love, that we love. And now we have three versions of it. So behind us is Horrified American Monsters, which like took the stage when it came out. This was the sequel to the original Horrified, and it brought us a whole bunch of these American legends like Bigfoot and the Chupacabra. Mm -hmm. Now, we now have Greek monsters, which we should have our hands on in the next couple of weeks, but from everything that I've heard so far, it has brought it to a whole new level. We should see an increase in complexity and a whole lot of fun with these new villains, these new, new enemies. So I'm very excited about the Horrified franchise. In Horrified, across all three, monsters have taken over your town and you as the citizens and the leaders of this town have to try and fight back and kill or get rid of these monsters. <laughs> now they're all going to have different puzzles or different ways that you have to defeat them and there's also going to be wandering citizens who you have to lead to safety. Why don't they safety. stay home? They've been told there are <laughs> monsters everywhere. <laughs> and what we really love about this game with original and American which I am sure also Greek monsters is how like um, thematic they are. We watched all the black and white movies when this game came out originally, and it is so 
thematic and it makes me so happy. And I think mm -hmm. a true testament to why this is our number one is that last year we had a baby right at the beginning of October and the only game we were able to play, a Halloween game, was classic horrified. It was. So <laughs> I think that is just like a, a testament to how much we enjoy this game and how great I think it is that if you're going to play one game on this list, you should go and check this game out and have a great time. I hope you guys have a fantastic Halloween season. We look forward to doing several more spooky games and reviews throughout the season and we are enjoying our live streams where I hope we can also be playing some spooky games that you can join along with us. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us today. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know whenever we put out a new video. And we'll see you next time. Happy, Happy playing. playing! But Mr. Hyde wants like Disunion. <laughs> Once, uh, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Chaos. Uh, chaos. Okay, I'm gonna start that word. Disunion. <laughs> yeah, disunion. <laughs> okay. Right. I mean, technically that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> I want disunion. <laughs>